Sammy Gallagher wasting no time. Oh, went for the Glimmering Warlock. No, home. Horse cut. <laughs> July 26th. Finley! <laughs> Sammy Callahan versus Finley! <laughs> Watch the scary videos again? Hmm? Hmm? Get out of here. My TV. Yo! Creepy paranormal activity camera up here. Come here. So I know what you're thinking. I know you're thinking this is just another scary Sammy Callahan promo. But I figure I'd do something different. Because <laughs> Sammy Callahan's actually in a really good mood for once. You know, uh, Sammy Callahan's actually in a really good mood for once. But don't get me wrong. This is still a Sammy Callahan promo, so if I want to add a little bit of cool music to make what I'm saying sound a little more epic than it really is, then so be it. Now that we got a little bit of music to set the mood, allow me to be real for a second. Allow me to just sit down and do a little bit of talk. You know, I'm actually in a good mood. I know what you're saying. How could someone like Sammy Callahan with obvious anger management problems actually be in a good mood? Why wouldn't I be in a good mood? Why wouldn't I be in a good mood? Honestly, I'm wrestling all over the world. I'm winning championships. I'm winning tournaments. And I'm kind of the big thing right now. I kind of have everyone talking. I hate to say it, but I told you so. I've been telling each and every single person out there that I wanted the respect that I deserved and now I'm finally getting it. I proved all my naysayers wrong. Just like I proved everyone wrong my entire life. Why wouldn't I be a good one? People are talking. People are saying, Sammy Callahan, he has a unique promo style. Sammy Callahan, he has a unique wrestling style. But where did his inspirations come from? Where did the inspirations for Sammy Callahan come from? And one memory that always sticks out in my head when I start talking about why I got in the wrestling business. For some reason, I remember when I was in fourth grade, I was sitting watching Monday Nitro with my dad, like I always did. We watched Thunder in Paradise before. Awesome show from back in the day. And commercial break ended, and it just happened to be that this giant Irishman with a Mad Max jacket came to the ring and proceeded to beat the ever-loving crap out of his opponent. First time I ever saw this guy, and I was instantly hooked. Learned that night, that guy went by the name of Dave Fit Finley. From that day, I was hooked. Wrestling fan all my life, that's all I ever wanted to do. And now I'm doing it. So why wouldn't I be in a good mood? People are talking. I get a chance to go one-on-one -on -one with a guy that I've always looked up to in the wrestling business. A guy that inspired me to be the wrestler I am today. I know what people are going to be saying. People are going to be saying, maybe Sammy Callahan's not ready. Maybe Sammy Callahan isn't going to go in there and deliver against a wrestler of this stature. But I'm going to prove you all wrong, just like I've always been. But looking at it from the other side of the fence, people might be saying, Finley's too old. Finley's washed up. Dave Fit Finley is not the aggressive Fit Finley that he used to be. But once again, I'm gonna have to disagree. Because I think Finley's gonna be da more dangerous than he's ever been. I think we're gonna see a Finley that's gonna come in there and try to prove everyone wrong. Just like I always do. He's gonna come in there with a chip on his shoulder. He hasn't been in the wrestling ring in months and he's gonna wanna come back and he's gonna wanna prove to the world that he's still the Fit Finley of old. So why wouldn't I be in a good mood? I get a chance to actually wrestle one of the best technical wrestlers in the world. And I'm going to prove, like I always do, why I'm also one of the best in the world. So like I said, I'm kind of in a good mood. Stretch Muffler! Oh, he's just bending Cole in half there. 